Wagwan. Just come out on a, another trip again. I'm gonna go to Rivington and then I'm gonna go across all the mountains. Well, they're not mountains, they're just big hills really. And then I'm gonna try and find a decent forest called Rosal Roddlesworth Forest. And I'll camp there as well. So this one's gonna be two nights. I think it's the first one I've ever done. Definitely alone on two nights where I am right now. The, I've got the Duggy, the River Douglas right here. And the, I've got the canal. And all I need to do is go that way. On the field I was on my very first time doing the YouTube and I just head this way so the plan is I need to get over this I don't know what it is it's a memorial ground of some sort and then I get across that I weave through some of the woods then I get to some washery, I think it's called. I don't actually know what a washery is, but it's called a washery on the maps. So I get there and then I need to get onto a road, cross the road and then cross the River Douglas again. And then I should be in a straight path towards Rivington. So that's the plan for now. Oh shit. No. Not gonna do that. <laughs> no, we ain't doing any of this. Not of that. Ugh. this bit of a pond last time got a bit of a dangerous path here well if you want to go for a dip so the last time I came here it was in I'm pretty sure it was complete darkness the Sun had just completely gone down I didn't actually say the time this time at the time I set off, it's at probably about half eleven now. Oh no, it's twelve. And I'm at a crossroads again. I go that way. I may as well say as well, I set off about half ten, maybe ten, something around there. So, this time I'm pretty sure it is the, what would you call it? most earliest time I've set off on a camp again hopefully I'll be able to get there in a decent time with light because I want to be able to try and find a decent camping place have a nice little look around so as I said before I'm gonna find a road which I'm heading towards now get over that road I shouldn't be traveling on that road for too long as I do want to keep in, you know, the rural bits and in the woods and all that kind of stuff.
get off of me. Okay, I'm in the wash area, area or whatever that means. I don't know, there isn't any buildings around here, it's just like a, a flat plain of some sort of, I don't know what it is on the floor, but it's like a black kind of dirt. It's not, it's like gravel. It's not actual dirt, but there's trees growing on it all the way. Like, it's only birches as well. It's a bit weird. So yeah, last time I just crossed over it and I found my way, so I guess I'll just do that again. So the last time I was here in this washery place or whatever it is, on my right side, I saw two lights and I thought they were some uh, kids just chonging their e-cigs just in the bushes. And I was like, what are you doing? But as it turned out, when I looked to my left and I had my light on, I shined it in some deer's eyes and I was like, oh, well that's what it is. And then they all just buggered off. Okay, I'm going to have to do first bit of, well, I don't think it's going to be trespassing because this gate looks all right. No one's got guns out. I'm just going to have to... Be quick, that's what I was meant to say. And get out of here. Cause I need to I need to get this way and go around the hay hall which is just over there. Yeah. There's hay hall over there if you can see that massive white building. It's got a load of scaffolding on it at the moment. It's probably undergoing renovations or something like that. I don't know why, it kinda looked all right to me last time I went, but you know. Anyways, so I'm on the right side of the train track. It's just over there. And I've got to keep going this way, sort of. I've got to f now find a viaduct, which would be really cool to see. It's somewhere, ah, I think I can see it over there, actually. I just don't know what I'm going to have to do with these buildings here. I don't know what they are. That must have took one hell of a time to build. Now I've just got to find a way to get across the doggy as it is right there um because i was gonna just get on top of the viaduct and then walk across well there you go that's my way up it's taken a bit of a hit there it's been crumbling i guess that's from the moisture of that little tunnel there i mean hole someone's been camping Oh yeah, time to, ooh, time to get up here. I think I can get up here. It isn't an actual railway. It was, I think it's a disused one. Because the railway goes that way now. Ooh. Well, here we are. 
big fat man's put a uh, gate on it just in case the danger of falling you know just in case you fall off a bridge which is like a whole five meters long you know just to keep just in case you're fat okay well we'll have to some through get over that get through that all right here we are hopefully i don't fall you know but i've just got to hope that i can actually get through the other side looks promising i think but yeah anyways it's pretty pretty fucking sick You got to try better than that to contain me, pal. You may as well take it down. Anyways, uh, I've completely forgot where I'm supposed to go now. Right, I just jumped over about 10 fences in the past five minutes or so. I'm tired out, but I'm gonna keep going, obviously. But now I've got hay hole over there and Winter Hill Master it's like houses and stuff all around me as well so I don't know if I need to go back into the woods or run around these houses I'm not sure I'll just have to check okay I've got a road that goes there and then the canal which I'm going to get on goes that way I've just got a I'll leave two more fences to jump and I am safe. zoned out on the canal now there's nothing else to do other than walk straight ahead and hope that I get the for tea time that's the sun it should more than halfway obviously I don't know what time it is it's probably like two now yep bang on two Just, I don't know how long I've been down on the canal. That's some weird shit. I don't know why that was there, but you know, anyways.
All right, David Attenborough, right. Well, just been walking along the canal for half an hour, half an hour, half an hour. And I can now see the hills in the distance, but I'm probably a good two miles away from on the canal to the town of Adlington. So, uh, I think I'd get off then. Yeah, I think I'll get off at the town of Adlington and then uh, walk through the town, I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that one out in a bit, but yeah. It is just kind of strenuous going along the canal for so long. That's why I like not going along the road or not going along the canal because it's just a different adventure every 100 metres. Like, you know, you're jumping over fences, you're going through woods. This is just path, water, side, bit of houses, and then bushes. I mean, I'm not complaining, it's just, well, sounds like I am, but you know, it's just, uh, like I said, it's strenuous. It's like sitting in a car on the motorway. I think that's enough geese for today. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. Ah, uh, I had to say it, didn't I? Fuck are you looking at? Right then, I've just passed the town of Adlington. I just sped through it, went down the main road, and now I'm at the northern side. I'm pretty sure that's right. And I'll show you in a minute. But there's Rivington Pike on my right, and right in front of me is where I'm going to camp. It's called Angley's Ark, or I forgot what is that, Angzaki, something like that. But yeah, there's Rivington up there, and yeah, bingo. Also to add, it is now 20 to 4. I've been going since 10 I think it was, half 10. So that's about 6 hours walking. About, I just quick calculated it. I just quick calculated it, obviously. But 
I'm nearly there now. I've got probably about an hour left of sun, maybe. Definitely an hour left of light, but direct sun, probably just an hour. And hopefully I can get there before it goes, because I do want to have a little look around and explore and find a good campsite. All that shenanigans. just skirted out the area a little bit I've gone up the road I found a a gate where it said unauthorized access obviously I don't listen because you don't really own nature pal uh, the quarry is that way I've just run up the road a little bit and I've been able to jump over a fence I mean a wall where it's come down there Damn. But I really want to get to where there's like trees near the quarry because it might be like a good sheltered place Ooh, from the wind and that. some clouds in there you got the windows xp background Woo look at what we have here breaking the wall some pine or fir trees whatever they are and that now that's amazing you can't see much because of the fog but damn on a clear day, well it is a clear day, but on a probably a summer's day that would look fucking amazing. Right, on we go. All this, and guess what? It's even tied with a bloody chain. It's just a rubbish bag, man. Come on. Just take it home. Or take it and just shove it in your fucking bag. Alright, that's enough F words. Time to chill. Right. I'm at my camping spot now. And uh, it's obviously been used by other people. That sun is just coming through here. Obviously being used by other people. Obviously because that rubbish bag. Uh, I'm just going to have a little scout around just in case there's anything weird here. Like a, you know, like a patrol shack or just... Anything that I've got to be worried about. And I also want to have a check where the quarry is because I must be on top of it. It's like, I saw these trees from miles away. I was like, I know they're pine trees. I'm going there. So yeah, I'm also gonna try and find some sort of cover cause this is just on the top of a hill. There is no real cover here. So yeah. So that's the quarry. It obviously goes from the all the way around the and back down 
I think the gate was somewhere over there and it obviously would lead in. I kind of want to go down there but I kind of just want to stick with the pine trees and all that kind of stuff because it's just a vibe. But yeah, I might have a look in the morning or something like that but I don't really want to mess about with it. Oh, there's a car over there as well, so I guess that is a road. So yeah, oh, no, it's right there. Shit. So yeah, as I guessed it, someone's had a fire there. I don't think I'll be interrupted by any other campers, considering it is just the middle of winter. I'm just braving it. It's not necessarily braving it, it's just, you know. seem too bad this is just around the corner I might go somewhere over here because there's like some um, holly trees I think they are it's like kind of blocking the wind I mean they're not going to do much but you know it's better than nothing got a seat here as well the only problem is, is that. So yeah. Okay, I've got my campsite and I'm heading to it now. It's not just far up here. It's got a decent seat, which I can modify, should I say. The only problem is it's got a tree leaning over the seat, but I probably won't be falling asleep on the seat. So yeah. <sighs> not gonna lie, it's not been a bad walk. It's just... <sighs> damn. It's just damn. It's just dank. I wish I had some. Ah, here we are. Yeah, boy! Boys, boys, the sun's going down. I thought it'd go down in like five minutes, but it's going down now. You're going down, boys. And girls. Come on, give me a view. Yeah. You even see that. No joke, I think it's beyond some clouds. It's not actually gone down, I don't think. Well, it probably is going to go down now, so... Whatever. It is just behind clouds. 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 Yeah. Those things in the air. Right, I am dying for some food and water and probably everything else. It is a bit crap. But I'll probably, when I get into the hammock, I'll probably bring this down 
like peg it down there or something because the wind is coming from this way should I say what is that over there oh well I forgot to mention there's like a big lake over there I don't know if it's a Rivington Reservoir Rivington is over there but yeah I don't know it is Just been trying to get this fire going for a couple of minutes now. I've missed out a little bit. Well, not so much. It is just the wood's a little bit wet. I'm trying to not smother the fire, but it needs to just try and catch onto these bigger logs. I mean, sticks, whatever they are. Being blown by the wind quite a bit. There we go. 
Yeah. Oh. There it is. There's the comes the smoke. Oh. And we're on. That took a few minutes to get going. And get the smoke in my eyes. Nearly had a schoolboy error there, or whatever you would call it, because, ah, well, there's one. Just stuck my head over the fire. I literally had it in embers two seconds ago, just when I said, oh, yeah, it's all right now. I literally just had to decompose the fire, or whatever that means. Oh, there you go, there's a bit. And put it back together again. And now the smoke's getting me. Oh my god, leave me alone. Jesus Christ, man. I need to turn this music off, I'm going to get bloody copyrighted. Yeah, and over there, you probably can't see it very well. I'm going to go over there in a bit, like I said, I'm going to have a tea. The Winter Hill lights are over there, but you really can't see them. But yeah, the moon's really bright tonight. It looks kind of like a full moon, actually. I might have a check. That's cool. We on! We on, boys and girls! We on! Woo. So yeah, I've got some random sausage which I pulled out of the fridge, or freezer, which one. I've got some en yigi mushrooms or something like that, some peppers and brown rice. Yeah, this one's going to be a bit of a feast. Hopefully, I don't spill my rice today, like I did ages ago, but yeah. Because, you know, I'm such a camping G, I forgot that you have to boil the water first before you put, yeah, before you put your rice in. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it is boiling now. Well, at least that's happening. Sausages have been sizzled. Rice is now... Uh, China. Now, I will say, the sausage isn't the greatest sausage it tastes a bit weird but the rice is kind of cooked it's all right it's not you know hard or anything like that Ooh, fuck what was that uh you know it's that type of day uh what i was whatever i was gonna say something's on my neck get off so yeah the battery just went out but that's cool because i've got another one Okay, yeah, so, yeah, I've just been chilling, reminiscing, that was kind of the word what I meant to say, but I've also just been thinking, like, like, when I look, say, I, I know you can't see much, but there's a few lights over there, you, like, look at all the motorways and that, that's on one side, and then on the other side, there's just the moon, and the hill background, and the winter hill lights, and it's like, there's two different sides, obviously, but it's like, I was thinking of like comfort and then the unknown or just, well, yeah, just the unknown. Cause it's like, I'm kind of in the middle of it right now, as you can see, cause there's like, the moon's over there, where is it? There. And as I just told you, the whatchamacallit's over there. I don't really know what the point I'm getting it, getting at, but is your, if you catch my drift and surf my wave, you know. 
You probably understand what I mean. But I don't really understand what I mean. Uh, I'm also cooking a little, not cooking, brewing a little brew. Let's get a light on that. Not bad, coming to the boil now. I'm gonna go and chill on the moon side and have a stir at things. And then I might jump over the fence over there and have a look at the lights. It's just, puts me in the mood, you know. Also, I've been like chopping up wood and all that kind of stuff. Like, I've just been sawing shit. It's like, I have had a little sit down, as I said. I've just been having a little think. And I was just like, screw it. I'm just going to start sawing up some wood. As I do need wood, but I kind of went overboard. As you can see. Well, it's not really overboard, but yeah. I know no one asked, but for my cup of tea tonight, if you can see, is acai berry and chamomile, if that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, it's quite a relaxing one. Hello again. I've just been collecting wood like a lumberjack. It's like them sausages gave me like energy, well, <laughs> boy, yeah, I've just got like a ton of wood. Obviously you won't be able to see me very well, but I'm just sat on the wall, which is quite high, and there's a stone up my arse, so oh, I've got to rearrange it so it's not up my arse. Ah, bastard. You can't actually lie down on this wall. Well, no, you can't, actually. There's clouds just going over, uh, concealing the moon, and then that's it. I don't think I can show you that. I'll just see if I can. It's like, that's all the cloud there, and then this is just clear sky, and it's concealing the moon. It looks really cool. I'm gonna see if we can see some stars in a bit. This cloud should go away. Just a quick one before I get down. I might have a look at the other side, but um, in the sky, I can see, obviously I can see the stars, but what's more funny is you can see airplanes, not just that like, um, I think some of them might be at 10,000 feet where you can easily see them. But in this sky tonight, I can see the ones gliding at, for, um, is it 40,000 feet? Yeah, 40,000 feet, that's, um, you know, that's like cruise mode. And you can just see them all the way up in the sky, and just flashing every now and then. <laughs> 